when we came into office in 2015, of course, you know that one of the principal issues that we uh, talked about was dealing with corruption. Now, looking at the sheer enormity of corruption in Nigeria, you know, and it's systemic. This is not, uh, this is not corruption. It's not just some people taking a bribe somewhere. There's systemic corruption. All we've been able to deal with in the past three years, all we've been able to deal with is what is called grand corruption. That's all we've been able to do. I'm going to explain. Grand corruption is where the leadership, simply by writing, simply by approving that money be taken out of the treasury, take money out of the central bank, or take money from the source and spend it and just share it. That is grand corruption, where the president can say, I want 100 billion naira in cash from the central bank, he gets it, $299 million in cash, and he gets it. That is grand corruption. And that is the kind of thing, that is the kind of thing, and you know, sometimes when you talk about, when you talk about corruption in Nigeria, the truth is stranger than fiction. That's the honest truth. It's stranger than fiction. It is the kind of thing that would cripple, and, and, you know, that would cripple any economy anywhere because you simply don't have the resources. You simply don't have the resources for the graft and the greed of the numbers of people who want to steal the resources. As I said, all that we've been able to deal with is grand corruption. When we started the TSA, the TSA uh, is the Treasury Single Account. The whole point of the TSA was to aggregate all of the funds, the, uh, the funds of the government that were in, in banks, in private banks. So we put all the resources together in the central bank so that we could at least see the movement of cash, movement of money. By doing so, we're able to save almost 60%, almost 50% of the corruption that was going on then by simply putting the money into the TSA. Now, putting the money into the TSA is just making sure that you can see movement of money. But also stopping a situation where, the, where a person can simply sign off and take large sums of money out was the, next, was the next thing. We haven't got to the point where we're dealing with contractual corruption. We're not even there. Where you're dealing with somebody taking a bribe, we're not even there. We are, we're at, the, at this point, all we can say for sure is that the president is not going to sign off money and bring it out of the uh, central bank and share it. That we, that we can say for sure.